Welcome back, Homo sapiens. This is explaining the 45 degree offset. And the reason why I want to explain the 45 degree offset is because it's super crucial. It's probably one of the <laughs> the number one offsets you're going to do in the field. Uh, and I found out how beneficial it is if I just understood it. I wouldn't consider myself a math person. Uh, I wouldn't consider myself a numbers person. Um, but once you figure it out, once you understand it, it is so helpful and it really does help in a way sets you apart. Um, so if you're having trouble with it or you want to get a jump start on it, this is how you do a 45 degree offset. Okay, 45 degree offset. I'm not going to explain all the math, how they do what they do, or why it is what it is. I'm not a math teacher. Um, but this is an example of why you would need a 45 degree offset. So um, it's all based on a right triangle. Don't get crazy. So um, these two sides, uh, we're going to call this the advance. We're going to call this the offset. So this advance is always equal to this offset. Okay, so when you see this symbol, it's advance or offset. Okay, and you multiply that by the special number, which is 1.414. Okay, that is your magic number. That is a number you need to memorize. That is a number that's always going to stay constant. You're not going to lose 1.414. If it's a 45 degree offset, it's always 1.414. So what do you mean? How do you explain that? So let's say you have a water heater over here, for example, okay? And let's say that pipe comes out this way. And then let's say you have um, a beam or an obstruction or something in your way. And so you need to offset that piece, okay? Because you need to bring it over this way and say you need to hook it up to a sink. Um, okay, that's this is your 45 degree offset. Or let's say it's a beam and you need to go around it or you need to go under it. These, this, No matter how you orientate this 45 degree, it's always going to be 45 degrees. And what do I mean by 45 degrees? I mean this is a 45 degree. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Uh, I use copper fittings. These are ProPress fittings. These are 45 45s is what they call them. Literally, it's a 45. So this is a 45 degree offset. There's a mathematical equation that always gives you this piece. How do you figure out this cut piece? So if you were to draw, once again, for this example, you draw it like this. So as long as you know one of these numbers, it doesn't matter. So this, this center line of your pipe that you need to offset, your offset is always going to equal your advance, okay? No matter what. So say if A is equal to um, five inches, your offset is equal to five inches. If your offset is equal to five inches, your advance is equal to five inches. Okay, so does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Uh, so no matter what, these two numbers will always need to be the same. So if that's five inches, your advance is going to be five inches. Okay, so how are you? How do you measure that, or how do you figure it? Let's say you have a wall. This is your wall. Okay, you're going to go ahead and take a measurement and find a measurement from here to the center line. Okay, and then you take another measurement and find this center line, okay? And then you'll take whatever this number is, whatever this number is, subtract them. So let's say it's, well, just to make it simple, let's say that's five inches off the wall. This is five inches, okay? And let's say that this one is 10 inches off the wall. So we're gonna take but we're going to take 10 minus 5. It's going to equal 5 inches. So no matter what, we know that this spot between this center line and this center line is 5 inches. Okay? So when we have those numbers, we can do our offset. And again, the special formula is going to be 1.414. So you're always going to take your 5 times 1.414. Okay? And that's going to equal, let's do it together, 5 times 1.414. It's going to equal 7, 7.07. We're just going to go to 7. Okay, so 7 inches is this travel piece. Now that's that's how you're always going to find that, no matter what. Let's say it's 7. Let's say this now, this number becomes 7. If your advance is 7, your offset is 7. Your offset is seven, your advance is seven. So let's say it's seven inches, 
That means our advance is seven inches. Okay, we're gonna take seven times 1.414. And that number is seven times one point, oops, seven times 1.414. That is nine, eight, nine, eight. Okay, so I'm gonna say that's seven eighths. So we're gonna take that's nine, seven eighths of an inch. Okay, that is nine and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, that's how that formula works at all times. Now, the next step, that can't be your, that's not your cut piece. Now, a lot of people forget that last step. And there's one last special, that's how you get your offset, is that 1.114, okay? Your advance, your offset, times 1.414. It's always going to give you your travel. Always, 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 advance equals offset. Offset equals advance, 1.414. Repeat that in your head, memorize it, okay? So, now, the one thing that will throw you off though, is that this right here is called your takeoff. Now, the pipe, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it in these, but it goes up to what's called makeup right here. Okay, and then this spot between here and the center line of this cup, we're gonna estimate that, okay? That's called your takeoff. And you have to take your takeoff. So if you were to do that, I think we do it at a quarter inch. Yeah, so quarter inch is our takeoff. Now this is a quarter inch and this is a quarter inch. So for example, so if you have a quarter inch plus a quarter inch, that's going to be a half. It's a half an inch takeoff. Okay, you might also see it as TO. That's what we would do. So your takeoff is half an inch. So for example, let's say, again, we'll go to your advance is equal to five inches. Your offset is equal to five inches. We're gonna go back to that. Five times 1.414. Five times 1.414 equals seven inches. Now, that's not our cut. Our cut piece has to be half an inch less than the takeoff. So then you subtract half an inch. Well, that wouldn't look like that actually. It would look like this. But in our heads, we'll just take a half an inch off. Uh, it's gonna be six and a half inch end to end, okay? That's gonna be your actual cut piece. You have to make sure you take off your takeoff. And the makeup is obviously this pipe that fits into here, I believe it's three quarters, that fits into there. But that don't you don't have to worry about that mathematically. Okay, so that's hopefully the 45 explained. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, or you have a little more insight or info on it, uh, it's probably, again, one of the most used offsets um, 45 degree offset in plumbing that I've come across um, and this is what you have to remember okay once again your advance equals your offset your offset equals your advance you take that and you multiply it by 1.414 and that gives you your travel okay that's your travel this is travel. This and this is your offset and your advance. Okay? And then you take that minus your takeoff, just one more time because I want to beat it into you, is your cut. End to end. Always. This is no matter what kind of pipe, no matter what it is, that's always going to be your formula. Hope that helps, guys. Take care and beer. It's what's for dinner, baby.